Riot recently announced that they are moving away from the legacy client, and that the new client will become the only launcher after the 3rd of May. In their post, they have said that they are working on item sets in the new client, however, at least for now, the new client doesn't have an option to create custom champion builds or item sets, which the legacy client did have. So, because of this, I did some research, and I found an easy way to create item sets without using the client at all. What you'll need is either WinRAR or 7-zip, and to be able to find the folder in which your League of Legends is installed. The default location should be on your C drive, and there you should see a Riot Games or League of Legends folder or something similar. And if you can't find it there, try looking in your program files or program files times 86 folder. I have mine installed in my games folder on my D drive. Keep the location where you've installed your League in the back of your mind, because you'll be needing it later. If you've got those two things, head over to this website, which is linked in the description. When you come here, you'll see a list of all the items in the game and a couple of options. If you want to make a new item set, go ahead and click on New Set. You'll get a list of all the champions in the game, and you can click the one you want to create a custom build for. You can add as many item sets as you like. Once you've done that, the item set will be added to the list on the left, and you can modify, add, or delete stuff on the right. In this box you can give your build a name, like subscribe, hint hint, and right below that, you can select if you want this build for all maps or just a specific one. Let's set ours to Summoner's Rift. You can go ahead and delete the default tabs with the trash can option on the right, and by clicking new block you'll be able to add a new tab. Let's add tree. You can give it a name like End My Suffering, Life is Pointless, or Core Items. You can then add any item to any of these different tabs by clicking and dragging them. If you're looking for a specific item, you can search for it, or if you're looking for items in a certain category, you can use these filters. You can move these items around in between tabs and rearrange them however you like. You can switch in between different characters by selecting them from the list on the left, and if you want to add another build for the same person, you can add a new set again for that person and switch between them by selecting the character and then clicking the one you want to modify. If you're all done, go ahead and click download. Make sure your league is closed or it might not work. Locate the downloaded RAR and extract it. Then you want to copy the config folder and head over to your League of Legends folder. Once you're there, you'll see a folder named config. Go ahead and paste it in here and let it replace the current items if it prompts you to. If you've done all this, you're ready to start a match with your new custom item sets. Once you're in game, you can switch in between your custom builds and the default build by pressing this arrow in the shop and selecting the one you want. If you want to modify an already existing custom item set, or just want to upload all your current ones, go ahead and click Upload. Now open up the folder where you've installed League of Legends, and click and drag the config folder over to the website. It'll import all your current builds in alphabetical order, and from here on out is the same as before. If you want to remove an item set, go to your League of Legends folder, into config and into champions. Select the champion whose build you want to remove, go into the recommended folder, and delete the champion.json file. And that was all for this tutorial. If you're looking for some average quality content every two weeks or so, be sure to subscribe. I'm currently working on a trash guide, but it's taking a bit longer than expected. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Boy.